Welcome to Whoops in the Dungeon 400. Today we're just going to have a little chat about the art of the whip. Uh, obviously, uh, if you've been watching my introduction to the herd, you know that I'm very passionate about whips and that I've collected a lot of whips. But to me, uh, a whip, throwing a whip is an art form. Uh, it's not just about going out and cracking. It requires finesse, control, uh, consideration of the person that you're playing with, uh, being able to throw consistently. Uh, one of the things I want you to consider too as you gain more mileage with your whips and you, uh, I don't know too many people that just buy one whip, you end up buying another one and then maybe another one and maybe you end up collecting and maybe you don't, but, uh, but regardless, uh, if you're a top and you've invested some money in leather, I think you should consider uh, creating a leather will, even though it might be informal. Uh, your your loved one or your your submissive or your better your better half, when they're left behind and you've gone on, may or may not know what to do with the with the leather that you cherish so much. Uh, and the thing about leather is if Moodstone tried to sell this four foot bull whip on eBay. Uh, unless I had left her a journal entry or photos or a video recording of what this whip looked like and how to identify it, she would just be able to sell this as a four foot bull whip and wouldn't be able to get uh, the money that this whip was worth if she knew it was a 16 plat Peter Jack natural belly build, uh, four foot bull whip with a nine inch handle, a Latigo fall, and it was bought in 2017, she would be able to get uh, a little bit more money for it. And the person that's actually buying it uh, would know the history behind the leather that they're holding in their hand. Now, some people in their leather wheels they might want to gift leather uh, to someone else in the scene or in the community that they're very good friends with. Uh, I certainly support that concept as long as the person that you're gifting it to is, is as passionate about whips as you are. What I don't support is gifting leather to someone else in the community you're friends with if they're not equally passionate about that particular toy. Because I wouldn't want my, my Navy commemorative Peter Jack bullwhip to end up gathering dust in someone's closet. I would want to know that that whip is being played with in the dungeon by someone else that learned to love it and enjoy it as much as I've loved it and enjoyed it. So. Uh, my instructions to Moodstone uh, is going to be that to try to sell my leather on eBay because if someone buys a whip from me, they're not going to spend money on something that's going to gather dust in their closet. There's a higher probability chance that my leather is going to end up in someone's hands in a dungeon being thrown at someone with the love and the passion uh, that I shared. Today's key word is horizontal throw. 